Yeah, man. Yeah, that's he did learn how to lie from a drug addict parent, so he got to be good. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. bro, I agree with you, Titch, oh, bro. And he been, you know, the motherfucker, you know, he been stealing this shit. He said, you I ain't fucked with him. I don't mean to cut you game. Titch said, I ain't fucked with him since he turned on you and Billa and a lot of others that show facts. See, that's, and this man from the UK, so real is real you know what i'm saying and real is rare and he see right through this shit and ain't never even met this man a day in his life that's exactly what he did show his true colors hell yeah and then he say that the guy gonna revenge for his channel being down for a month what what God gonna do for my channel is missing. You don't think God gonna revenge that? You think God don't care about me? You think God don't care about my channel? And then so whole time. Think, huh? yeah, go ahead, folks. Go ahead. No, go God. ahead, gang. I'm going ahead. No, I've been saying the whole time. They, you know what I'm saying? The folks know he got your. Folks know he behind getting up, getting your channel took, folks. He know he behind that shit, folks. He he know, he know he swiped that, swiping those swiper. He know he swiped that, folks. He took, he, he he had to come out of his pocket and make that little shit happen, folks. Thought that was gonna harm a motherfucker. No, it's always a. Sometimes it's always just the best to just start over. It's just like if they paid a motherfucker to try to get my channel right now. Or my Instagram. I swear to God, for I'm not gonna whoop and whine about that shit, gang. Cause what I had before, I could get it again. You know what I'm saying? Like he the type of nigga gonna whoop and whine about it because that's all he got. He ain't never really used to having shit. So when some shit like that happened for him, and they take his channel or his Instagram or any little thing, folks, that man gonna lose his brain. He gonna be ready to blow the whole world up over. Over the internet, damn gang, like why you want to kill us over this internet shit? That's all. That's why fucking my head up. You want to <laughs> kill a nigga over some internet shit, gang? Like, yeah, is that for real? That folks? he started. That he started. Some shit you started. Is it that for real, trenches gang? You want to kill me for over some internet shit? You want to see me hurt over some internet shit? So you could so only only so and this this the fucked up part about it. Only so you can report about it and make a bag off a story. Make not even a bag of few hundreds yeah. off a story for God damn. So you, yeah, he you ready to see niggas tap out and die just so you can make two, three hundred and it can add on to your YouTube checks, bro. And you then then you thinking that God and you thinking you ain't gonna get no type of karma from this type of shit. You thinking everybody else gonna get karma. He but said you he not. help a motherfucker catch us so he can re report about the so shit. So he That's can what he said. Come on, gang. That's the saddest shit a real nigga, a real nigga can say. Only reason why he's saying that because he's safe out there and uh, wherever the fuck he live at. He's safe out there. We still in the trenches. So he say that shit like that freely because his bitch ass safe. C Hood safe. Sadie Nash safe. AK Num safe. We still in the trenches. But nigga... Ain't no running and hiding with me, bro. I'm out here, nigga. Hey, and technically for them niggas, yeah, they 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 just they ain't safe. They just probably a little safer than we are. You know what I'm saying? But they ain't safe, G, because it's like karma is karma. For karma will come through the crack of your motherfucking floors and through your window and through your doors and shit. Like karma. Karma get to, monoxide. Yeah, karma <laughs> monoxide. You feel me? It'll it, it, it catch you, G. So they just a little safer. Than what we are, cause they not in in Iraq. You know what I'm saying? They think cause they not in Iraq, like they made it out. Get get the fuck out of here, bro. If you really made it out, you won't be on the net doing all that twisting up stories and threatening motherfuckers and wishing death on niggas and all that shit for like you won't you won't be if you made it out, you won't be throwing your girl name out there on every live that you get on Nini Nini, cause nigga. My girl, y'all, 
this internet ain't even finna know her name. I ain't even finna throw my girl out there. I don't know Let like me that, tell man. you why he's saying his girl. Cause he's a little black crusty motherfucker and don't know other women want him. So he's just throw out his girl cause he know he ain't can't get no females. So he used that so people could think, oh, he got a woman or whatever. Or niggas be like, he got nigga, that nigga a dusty ass, crusty ass bum with some big ass ones on and some big ass pants on. And that nigga still went, yeah, then, yeah, I, I was for to say something, but I ain't gonna even say it. But yeah, for like, and, and, and Nene a fool if she don't even pick up on that shit, like, in her head, she probably like, oh, yeah, they know who I am. You stupid, you stupid, goofy bitch. They know who you are. They don't supposed to know who you is. You, you want, you happy because they know who, like, people know who you is? Like, that's goofy as hell, and you got to take your kids to school every day, and, and, and do this and do that, like, that's goofy as hell. Then they making them fake ass clothes and them fake ass trenches, shirts, and, and uh, shiesty masks. And, man, that shit look worse than the shit from the basement on 47, folks. <laughs> the beauty supply. Hey, that shit like motherfucker that's taking a crayon and flicking the lighter on the tip of the crayon, like, you know what I'm saying? Then they draw on the shirt. Like, get that shit up out of here, folks. <laughs> <laughs> they trip. Yeah, yeah, motherfuckers buying them niggas, man. Then yeah, they banging. Man, that shit just crazy. Like, okay, you go get AK-47, Seti Nash, C-Hood, and you got, first you was into it with Trenches talking. Now he holding they dick. As much shit Trenches News was talking about Trenches talk, now they buddy and buddy. Once you go to the net and talk shit about me one time, I ain't being your friend no more. It's always it, it's always that. Keep that same energy. Because you will never flex or flip out on me. I'll never give you a chance to do that shit again. It is what it is. Ain't no friends no more. You, I'll never be cool with them niggas. AK had a nerve to say I could have been on his team. Bitch, I'd have never want to work with you. And it's fucked up that this internet shit be making like, you know how motherfuckers you got certain people pushing peace or so so called pushing peace, and it's like we got to fall out like as as a culture over misunderstandings, over words, over followers, subscribers, and likes. Like motherfuckers falling out over this shit, folk. How do, like in my eyes, gang, like this shit ain't gonna never get no better. And I just feel sorry for the niggas who. Let this shit really get to their head, gang. Like it, it just, it just be real, real sad for real. Cause like me, me personally, like I ain't, I don't, I ain't wishing no death on trenches. I ain't wishing no death on C Hood or them other or any other niggas who rocking with them. But trenches, for him, it's the opposite. I could never let this shit let me trade my soul to to to, to get more subscribers. If that was the case. I be going live every day, dropping disses every day, just doing shit, trading my soul for this shit every day. For I just could never do that, gang, because I live about morals. These niggas let their morals go for this shit, for a subscribe button, a like, and a view button. Like these niggas let themselves go morally for this shit, gang. Some shit that can be taken away from them within a snap of a finger, like this, like boom, like. I, don't, I just I just be sitting back analyzing and dissecting and shit in my brain for now. I just be like, this shit just so fucked up how this shit came to this type of shit, folks. Then he talking about motherfucker flagging his page. I don't care if you do see my name in them emails. For it ain't who don't know my name. My real name is Choice. A motherfucker could easily go through an email or whatever, nigga, and report some shit because they know that. That heart of the trenches is mine. And if it was me who was really doing it, nigga, I would have sent them in all my motherfucking uh, codes and numbers to the sites. And you would never even got your channel back if it was me standing on top of that business, boy. Like, because technically, you don't you don't own no rights to my music. And then you hey, say, lovely Leo, I really think you need to get in C Hood inbox and just talk to the man. You should just go and hey. talk to him because you always think of a positive reason 
ain't no positive reason of what he's saying or why no, he's one, saying these things to us. One thing I know, lovely, lovely Leo, she know what she doing. You feel me? She know the true color of Seahood. She know. She just don't want to throw the man under the bus. You know what I'm saying? Cause he she threw himself under the bus. But if if C Hood, what she say? To be honest, C Hood just trying to be a good friend to swipe. He really ain't got nothing. If if um if he ain't had nothing to do with it, then why the <laughs> fuck is he striking that ghetto DVD? Why is he? Why was he striking that? And why is he still striking that ghetto DVD if he don't have nothing to do with it? Why is he, he was striking, striking at, at me last night? That just night, just a few minutes ago. Why is he striking that DVD then? If he don't got nothing to do with it, if 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 a person don't got nothing to do with anything, they not finna aim shots at nobody. They will try to make amends. Now, one time, C Hood tried to make amends with no motherfucker. He might not say much on the internet about certain shit, you know. Players know how to play their part. Like folks got to play an aura. He how? If he, Miss Miss Leo, lovely Leo, he never tried to make amends. Making amends is calling me or calling uh, A Choices or inviting us on live and we talking like man to man, like me and A Choices discussing what's going on so our fans can know what's going on. That's coming like men talking like stuff. If you want to make amends or, or break something or fix something, you sit motherfuckers down with both parties you neutral and black man, we gotta fix this. Woo, woo. He never did that. It's just you you wanna stick up for C Hood so bad. You like that nigga. But it's hey, other niggas. We the we we here. We here. Hey, she don't like that nigga. Look, back, shout out back up for official channel. Let's get active, standing on business as he should. Then before that he said, I ain't gonna lie, that old DVD came in the game a little hot headed. Standing on business as he should. That's how he's supposed to came, folks. That's how the other niggas will come that's bloggers or interviewers. Folks only doing what he want to do. Like I said, if it was DJ U, 16 shot him, say cheese, no jumper, one of them would have covered the story. See who would have been, been happy to the motherfucker. Yeah, see who they wouldn't have been shooting no shots at them, one of them, but y'all want to shoot that DVD because y'all feel this man came out the blue and he in the middle of some shit that he ain't got. DVD had more subscribers and more. I was out before trenches. Uh, I mean, uh, uh, what's that man named Truth Teller and 16? I went to prison for four years. That's how they took the lead on me. Real talk. I ain't gonna cap. But I'm, I congratulate them brothers on doing good. Everybody that got 100,000 subscribers, I congratulate you. I ain't no hater, folk. I don't hate. But I have been doing this shit. And when I came in the game, I came in the game hard because I already knew motherfuckers and I already knew the game. I already knew Choices. I already knew Mac Baby G. I already had everything right there. Yeah, they just, they just don't... They just don't know that part, you know what I'm saying? Because trenches and C Hood trying to make it seem like you just fell out the sky and trying to cover a story and cloud up. I'm a nobody. They ass act like they the top clout people in the city, like a motherfucker really trying to cloud up off y'all boy. Y'all got to He so much telling, fun. see, he telling, he telling Sadie Nash, yeah, I can make that happen. You come to my city, I make sure you shit straight, and I come to your city. Nigga, who gonna listen to C Hood? He ain't even been here seven years. Yeah, folks ass tweet. He rapped like he in 2006 still. Who gonna listen to that nigga? They ain't gonna listen to his mouth or listen to his fucking music. His words or his music. <laughs> Don't nobody want to listen to that nigga, man. Let me grab a light real quick. Hold on. Yeah, somebody. Somebody will listen to everybody. There's always somebody that'll listen to it. You know, it's 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 a it's a caliber for every motherfucker on this earth. Shit. You know what I'm saying? So we might not want, want to listen to it. Uh oh, but you got, hey, to uh oh, hey, choice. You got the live back busting. Yo, shit busting a little bit. Nah, we finna we finna. You know what I'm saying? And the motherfucker ain't even chasing numbers or none of that shit. For a motherfucker, I just come on this bitch to vent it out, gang, because it's like I'm tired of people sending me shit. 
that this nigga saying, and I'm not even thinking about trenches. If a motherfucker go on my Instagram or go on my channel for y'all can see, I've been dropping videos for people, dropping my own shit. Go check out that Charleston White disc that I just dropped. You feel me? I had to do that. That ain't for the clout. That was for the city. The nigga tweaking. Other uh, big rappers ain't cover the shit and strike, so I had to be the one to do it. Like, I'm not even thinking about the thinking about trenches, folks. I don't even check his channel with none of that shit, gang. I don't even do it. Me either. I ain't been watching this shit neither. I don't even go on that man shit, bro. Like, I'm talking about not at all. Like, I don't even look into that shit, bro, because it's disturbing to me. It was it was something that posed that I thought was gonna lead a motherfucker to a better position, but it didn't. So it's like, why would I want to go on here and listen to this man to see what he got going on if he misled me? misguided me, uh, try to torment me, try to put false accusations on my name, try to uh, get me to be a slave for what he needed to get done. Like, I don't even really want to hear your voice, nigga. Fuck, I'm checking on your shit, folks. Hmm. Fuck out of here. I don't even want to hear your voice. Your voice irritate me on game. His, the nigga but he been shit. talking so much shit and they ain't heard nothing from us. And my channel been gone. I appreciate people reaching out to us. I appreciate people like Lovely Leo. She she found my new channel and subscribed to my shit. I appreciate fans like that who take a chance and listen to us. Because, you know, we come from Chicago. We might be a little rough around the edges. But we some intelligent brothers. We do correct. We filming is not easy, dude. You gotta be a smart motherfucker to be filming and editing and shit. I you know what I'm saying? That, uh, titch, so that child yeah, away. lovely uh, Leo. They took it. my channel. Trenches News them had my channel took down. Said he now all they love buddies. They had my channel took down, lovely Leo. Yeah, That's I'm why I was happy back. when you subscribed yeah, to I'm my new channel. Back, bitch. I ain't gonna lie, I ain't even been I ain't been streaming a lot of my music and shit. You know what I'm saying? Due to like other real life shit that be going on, but I promise myself I'm gonna start streaming like everything that I got. And I'm sitting on so much music. So hey, Titch, like like real shit though. Like as the days and weeks go past and months, I promise you, when you type their choices in on Spotify, Apple Music, YouTube, all that shit, it's gonna be all type hella of music. shit. Yeah, hella shit. Like if you go subscribe to my YouTube channel right now, a choices underscore, I mean my Instagram, a choices underscore, you can see a snippet that I just dropped today. And I shot the video. Look, gang, I shot the video yesterday. The video ready already. I just shared the snippet today. I'm trying to figure out when I'm going to drop it. But you can go check out the snippet to that shit. I'm probably going to be flying that bitch like tomorrow or no later than like Monday type shit, though. You know what I'm saying? But. I feel like I'm gonna get real, real busy on this shit though. Like, and I ain't doing this shit because everybody else doing it. I'm doing it because this is what I love to do. It's my passion. I just hate the shit that come with the shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, selling your soul and trading and throwing niggas under the bus for likes and like I just I hate this little mama shit that come with this shit. It's too wacky, on bro. I hate like. That is more, it's like, he he was a bitch. He couldn't handle us himself. Then he go and recruit like three or four motherfuckers. I don't like that. Then he got Trenches News. When it came down to me and Trenches News, and like me, he joined Swipe. And after Swipe treated that nigga all, when I first got out of jail and all the last shit, they made buddies again. On the internet, bro. Ain't no being friends no more because you a friend at any time. You not loyal. You untrustworthy. Oh, so I'm seeing niggas, they fronting on each other on the internet and making friends. Ain't none of that shit with me. Once you tell your draws with me, they torn. Once you burn your bridge, ain't no coming back across that bitch. Yeah, I appreciate that, lovely Leo. I appreciate that. Say that shit, my shit dope. Definitely appreciate that for real. But yeah, man, like, that's the, um, you know, like, it, won't, it wasn't me, shit. I ain't, I want the cause of the problem. You try to make it seem like it was me. 
And if you was a real nigga, even if the shit was the truth about the 250 and the footage and all that extra shit he was saying, like, if you was a real nigga and you was my brother, like you said it was supposed to be, you would never even went to the internet about that shit. We could have got that, we would have got that shit sent you behind closed doors, you know what I'm saying? Like I was trying to do, but this goofy ass nigga ran to the net and put lies with the shit. Knowing he ain't never paid me a dollar. He ain't pay me shit, boy. He's so much yeah, well, of a dick rider. He's so much of a dick rider. He paid the other niggas who interviews that I linked him up with to do their interviews and get them to the stew so we can do the shit. He paid for their Ubers and their drinks and paid them. Tell me, them tell me, time. tell me what happened when he did Juby. <laughs> when he bought Juby folks. <laughs> 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 What hey, he bought folks. Juvie for? <laughs> he bought folks as his own personal bottle. A Patron? What was it for? Nah, he bought folks as a, a, a Nejo. A, a rest- Nejo? Yeah, some shit like that. Like an $80 bottle. And the, uh, and the folks Uber was like $100, like presidential. He paid for that. Paid for that. Like all type of shit, folks. But you don't want to pay the man who putting all the work in, who put all the shit together. What type of shit is that? But then lie and say you paid me. Boy, your ass ain't paid me shit. I'm gang. He know that. He know that. He know that. That's why every time he did, he do call me and we try to talk it out. When I be bringing the facts up and the truth, he try to talk over me. Like, you know how you know how you on the phone with a nigga and they just trying to, when you trying to say something, they just steady talking over you? That's him. The sad part is we all into it over some internet shit and for free. Ain't no money involved. <laughs> it's you know what I'm saying? No shit, money, shit no money, fuck. no pro- ain't no money involved, no property involved, no royalties involved. This shit ain't even, <laughs> hey, I don't even get into it. I don't, I wouldn't even get into it with a nigga over a female, but it ain't even about a female. This shit over subscribers likes and uh, <laughs> in a chat you know what i'm saying we, we, nah, he dropping loads and shit he started off though folk he started off on some bullshit dropping loads and shit we still ain't hit him below the belt we still ain't really you know what i'm saying and then my ass any nigga that get in, that, that that you fall out with over some small shit like that that be quick to drop your load on the net and get you up that's like a form of a that's like that's like form of snitching. That's like mm-hmm. you twelve. Like that's like me and you DVD. We get into a uh, disagreement on this live right now, and then I get off this bitch, and then I get this like so called drop your low and all this shit. For that's like that's like some snitch police shit, folks. Like we don't, who do that, gang? Oh, over, over or, nothing. Or you want somebody to get hurt or something? Or what you asking for? What you trying to get somebody hurt or something? Like folks says, really twelve, gang. He know he he know he pre twelve, folk. He know he is, gang. Cause don't no niggas do that shit. This ass eleven. Hey he, hey he eleven. He almost he eleven. 12. He pre twelve. <laughs> yeah, he eleven. He pre twelve. <laughs> oh, bro. Niggas a straight good. <laughs> but you nah, claim you. Because- uh, nah, Leo, you always be like, no, C Hood is just a nice guy, and I just don't believe C Hood. Baby, please wake up and smell the coffee. C Hood is a snake. C Hood is a low down, dirty snake. He's a uh, a wolf in sheep clothing. He looked like a nice man and all that, but that nigga is not nice. Oh, C Hood. Oh my gosh, he could say so many good things about C Hood. Oh, he looked like a nice man. But go look at how he was just talking earlier and how he threatened him all. Go look at how he be talking. See, he ain't talking that shit to y'all. He ain't threatening you. So you don't know how this nigga. I don't even know why he mad at me. Like, niggas don't even know why he mad at me. Look, look how she, uh, oh, see her the cutting your teddy bear. Look, she yeah, love right. us to see her. <laughs> yeah, you, know why, you know why he mad at you, because he felt like that situation, you was going to gain some exposure off of him. You know, they don't want nobody to gain. They want to gain exposure off everybody else, but they don't want nobody to gain no exposure off them. Once you try to gain any exposure off of anybody that's rocking with trenches them, 
then they're gonna be they're gonna be like upset and mad about this shit. But this is the same shit that they doing. But then when somebody get mad at them, they try to say somebody a hater. No, y'all ass the haters, boy. Y'all don't want to see another motherfucker eat. Y'all eat. Y'all got a little Kool Aid and peanuts and salad on y'all plate. Why y'all don't want to see another motherfucker with the same shit or more? And then why they hit me for my channel and they know that's that's my bread and butter. That's what I'm. That's what I'm all about. Is this shit right here? And they, I just feel like that was a low blow to me, and I didn't even have nothing to do with the situation. I covered the story, but you ain't gotta get down on me. But you forgot. Yeah, that shit fucked up, gang. That nigga was happy as hell when he got his channel back. He was on that motherfucker like, yeah, you can't hold me back. I worked too hard for this. Nigga, you ain't worked too hard for shit. All you doing is sitting back like what we doing right now and just running your fucking mouth. You ain't work, you ain't you ain't worked hard for nothing, nigga. You just running your fucking mouth. You know niggas in the streets, you know you know certain insights on certain peoples and you putting stories out there and then you throwing a little water in it you re-rocking these stories <laughs> nigga that ain't working hard nigga that's that's selling your soul nigga that's 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 going against your morals as a man but you talking about you work hard for something so goofy ass up out of here boy you ain't work hard for shit I, I remember when that motherfucker first started, bro. I ain't gonna lie, I don't even. I ain't even fuck with him. I I ain't I ain't never had no problem with none of these niggas until I met them. That's 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 how you know they fucked up. I done got along with hundreds of people. And as soon as you interact these bombs, them five bombs, it's a problem. Yeah, I gotta go look into them other niggas though. For I don't even know, I don't even Man. know too much about them. I'm gonna go on their channels and just see what's up. Because like, I don't like me personally. I don't even be trying to keep up with all that goofy ass shit. Cause that shit don't put no bread in my pocket. None of that type you of shit. I, don't keep... uh, I put you up on all that shit. You ain't gotta keep up with them niggas. You gonna see? Cause they gonna. After whatever happened, after they this lie, and whatever a motherfucker do next, or whatever, and when a motherfucker start gaining a gang of traction, like they say, a motherfucker gained some traction off this motherfucker and this shit, because they talking shit, and they the ones, technically, they got more subscribers now than us, technically, because my channel gone, hey, they doing, they, they, they doing me a favor. Real talk. Oh, now, all them niggas, Seti Nash got a hundred. Motherfucker AK got a hundred. Trenches got 50. Now they arguing with us and we only had 10. Cause oh, we them cold niggas got, them, niggas, them niggas got a hundred. Them niggas got over a hundred thousand subscribers. Yeah. Oh, that That's why they sucking they dicks. Yeah, that explain everything now then. Damn, this shit. AK got up. 150, Seti Nash got 100. Trenches got 50. And then Trenches Talks got 14. And Seti, and you know C. Hood, he brought his 12. Because he ain't, I, he could never support merge past me as hard as I work. I, I know he couldn't have. He, then he gonna have the nerve and say... I brought my subscribers. I could go on my phone and show you my stats. I never brought a subscriber. Damn, I fuck. Yeah, because if I, because because if, if you think about it on C Hood channel, if all of them was organic subscribers, uh, all the videos and shorts that he posts would be over a thousand views. He only got a few on probably that's. I ain't been on that recently, but when I last looked, like it wasn't it wasn't it wasn't adding up. You know what I'm saying? Like that, the shit ain't adding up. So he wanted that bad, and that's and that's sad as hell that a nigga would want it that bad and go pay for uh likes and views and subscribers and shit like that. Like that shit, that shit is insane to me. I take my two three hundred views organically versus uh twenty thirty thousand views that's paid for. Like nah, bro, I wouldn't even feel right doing. I wouldn't even feel right doing what I'm doing if I had to take that route.
I want to, then he's supposed, he supposed to be a rapper. Why you ain't dropping no music? Why trenches no man promoting your music? Why do you niggas not promoting you? Why you not shooting vids and giving the snippets to all of them and the vids to these niggas to help, to help pull you up to the top? Like, make this shit make sense. You want to be a blogger? Or you want to be an artist? Or you want to be both? You know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't finna be on this bitch every day and I'm a rapper playing my songs from another phone. I ain't finna be doing that shit for I'm finna go shoot me a vid and drop that bitch and show y'all this and send y'all ass this fresh link. And I'ma jump on this bitch once or twice out the week to promote this bitch and talk my shit. Like, like then I got this one clown asshole, Dro the mob, he just sitting around watching. He probably listening to this shit, his bitch ass. I'm so tired of this motherfucker. Oh, you talking about Dro the Mob? Yeah, for that nigga been out. That nigga be DMing me all the time, gang. That nigga's a goofy. I think he from like, uh, I think he, I think the nigga for real live with trenches, bro. Like, cause the courses and shit he be asking and the shit he sent to me, I'm like, you got to be close to trenches to even get this type of shit. So like, I think folks like got a, like a bedroom and trenches closet in his little room or some shit, bro. Like. He lived in Trisha's closet. <laughs> yeah, he got a, he got a room. Folks got a little room. Folks uh, room closet. So like he stay whoever he is live with Trisha. Dang, that nigga is not from the rack. Like I could tell the way he talked through the DM. He sent the picture to me too, but I know that that I ain't gonna say I know it wasn't him. It could have been him, but it was like. I just told the nigga like he cool. I tell him all the time like you seen cool as hell, bro. Like. I ain't the one to pick with, like, you really saying nice as hell, gang. And whoever he is, he do, though. He just he just saying like a little cool little guy, man, that just stay out of town and he bored and he ain't got shit else to do. He just tired. He just drinking beers all day. He don't got, like, shit else to do, folks. Right, nah, he, he, he the motherfucker that's going to keep instigating trenches shit to get trenches fucked up. That's what he going to do. His white ass ain't gonna be nowhere around. Trust me. Hey, hey Trent is gonna fuck himself up with all that meth he's smoking, all them cigarettes and all Trent that. Trent just smoke meth. Man, look, he gonna ain't nobody got to do nothing to that man, bro. He 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 fucking himself up, bro. His ass down there in Pontiac smoking ice, bro. Folks, and he, 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 yeah, he, yeah. That's Ice Man. Can you sell that shit too? So I don't know what the fuck. She say I don't think C Hood don't really mean. I don't think C Hood really mean no harm. Let's just keep. No, C C Hood don't mean no harm. But you know, you guilty about you guilty about association. So we know who side you on. I seen this. I heard the sneak dissing on them lives and shit. Like, I be catching and picking up on certain shit. So I know what it really is. Cause if he really fucked with me, when I go live, he'll leave a comment. Like, choices, what up? He'll do that. But the nigga, the nigga ain't never, the nigga ain't never did that. He just, I could go live on Instagram right now, I guarantee you. If he ain't on here watching, he gonna jump on that bitch. Like, damn, you got that much time on your hands to when a motherfucker go live, you, you see it instantly. But like, he that. say, I'm I'm on the live talking about motherfuckers. But they be on the live for the last few weeks, they've been talking about us. And they they just, heard of. Yeah, they've been talking shit. he been talking insubliminally. Yeah, that's Not Ice direct. Man. Ice yeah, Man was video. talking instantly, huh? <laughs> Hey, folks, say Ice Man. Yeah, that's Ice Man. He Ice Man. Yeah, that's his new name, man. Anybody, anybody that if anybody watching, man, and y'all like y'all got Trenches News phone number or something, y'all got any contact with that man? Tell him man, his new name, Ice Man. Man, it's twenty twenty three, man. Got to update that shit, man. His name Sub Zero. Yeah, that's Sub Zero, man. <laughs> Cause he got that mask on. No oh, gang, that's Sub Zero, man. No oh, bro. Uh, fuck a zero, man. Ice man. 
But that's that's crazy though, Trenches for that it had to come to this shit game with you for like I never I never really would have imagined that it would have had to like go to this shit for like and if anybody that pay attention to my channel or my Instagram for it, like y'all can see that I don't even be going live talking about that shit. I don't make no posts. I dropped my couple little bit songs and I left that shit where I was at, folks. Like, like I don't, I don't, I don't pay too much attention to that shit for real. What they be trying to say and talk, folks. But motherfuckers keep sending me shit. I'm a man like you, nigga. I'm a man like y'all. I'm going to address the fucking issue. Now it's time for me to address this shit. And I'm going to stand on that business on top of this shit. Yeah, every time y'all mention me, I might fuck around just every time. Just every time start I, going in on y'all ass anytime I'm, 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 I feel like it, folks. Every time they mention me, I might just get in the stool and just do a song about it instead of going live talk. I'll just make a song out of it and just keep dropping it. How I feel, I'm just going to go in on their ass anytime I feel like it. I swear to God, fuck y'all niggas. Man. Yeah, that's a uh, zero titch on bro. <laughs> he got the mask on. Hey, some, somebody should go on there and tell him, man, jump on his live. I already know he on this motherfucker. Him and see him. I know him. All of them on here. Yeah, they on this bitch. Right? Ain't nobody stupid. Cause if I'm, hey, look, one thing about me, one thing about eight choices. If I'm on your live, I swear to God, on gang, I'm gonna leave a comment. I'm gonna say something. I don't give a fuck if it's what's up. Like you gonna know, eight choices on that bitch. I ain't gonna do no police shit and sit back and just be watching. Like yeah, you hear these niggas? No, I'm gonna let it be known. I'm away. I'm away my hand. Like I'm in a building. Cause I'm, a, I'm, I'm a real one. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm, a, I'm gonna let you know I'm there. I ain't going to creep through with binoculars, none of that shit. I'm going to let you know I'm there. So I know that I know that here, folks. And if not all of them, nigga, at least two of them, which is C Hood and Trenches News or C Hood and Nene. Yeah, folks, Sub Zero, motherfucker, Titch. C, C choices. We got to just start kicking it like they be kicking it on live. Gee, I swear to God. Man, look, we, we going to do us. We ain't got to do shit like what them niggas doing. Man. No, no, we going to do our own thing, but that's all they do is talk. We need to put the cameras down and start running our motherfucking mouth. Put the cameras down and we start talking around this bitch. Yeah, you know me, I'm gonna pop my shit here and there for I ain't even got the time the time of the day to do this shit every day for real though. This shit this shit really be overwhelming. Like I be feeling like I be going against myself morally doing this shit, especially if I gotta do it every day. It's like I ain't taking nothing from <clears throat> nobody else that do it. Cause everybody got a different calling. But like for me, this ain't like my overall calling for like I got other shit to do for like. But when it's necessary, yeah, yeah, gang. Motherfucker go get on this bitch and pop this. Hey, Trench, just, you get that little YouTube check, Ed Money on the 21st, folks. Like, you stole so much money from my sister, folks. Like, why you ain't cash out my sister no bread yet? I could send you her cash out. Like, you got her personal phone number. You. My sister held you down the old block, bro. Like, fed you. Made sure your clothes and shit was clean. Made sure you had a roof over your head. My sister protected this nigga, gang. If it wasn't for my sister, for that nigga probably would have been tossed in the sewer somewhere, bro. Like, my sister literally put her own life on the line to protect this man, bro. And he betrayed did she, her. Did she stop, jump in the middle of a fight and cover him up and stop them from beating his ass have she have to do that shit in so many forms hell yeah if the nigga hid out of my sister's crib <laughs> if he hid in my sister's crib for three months and had people thinking he was locked up hell yeah she she covered this nigga up like a motherfucker and motherfuckers you had some motherfuckers knowing that it was a lie and my sister sent that wrist and hush hush shit for this nigga that's what you call a motherfucker. My sister really loved that nigga, folk. But like, nigga, you drug my sister down and stole and, and did all type of shit. Now you get money. Well, you say you get money. 
you getting a little YouTube check. Damn, you send, say, my, send my sister a thousand or something, folks. To the cash out, send it to her. Didn't you, didn't you say he stole your little nephew game on Christmas? That nigga stole the game, computer. That nigga stole from himself. Like, now, we start... while we here, you might as well tell tell us about when his brother bit him again. That's what I think really made him mad when you dropped that. When you came off with that about when his brother yeah. had bit him in the face. Like, yeah, I already nah. put it. I already put it out there. But long story short, shit, his brother, you know, they had something going on, and folks then stand on what was going on, and big folks came. Mopped his ass on the floor and shit, took a piece of his bitter, bitter chunk of his motherfucking face out, bro. Long story short, that's what happened, man. I ain't gonna cap, man. He knows. So stealing or playing with money or anything, it's something basically kind of like stealing or something. Like both. Yeah, both. Because if you playing with a motherfucker money, that's stealing. You know what I'm saying? Like you give me a camera to sell. Y'all yeah, say I gotta sell for this camera. I go, I don't come back with the money or the camera. That mean I just stole the camera and the money. Like let's say if it's an old Canon or something for five hundred, you keep the five and you you keep the camera. Or you ain't come back with nothing. You ain't come back with nothing. That's that's stealing. You know what I'm saying? That's both ways. You stole and you and you fucked some shit up. Like that's a double bug, bro. Now, I want to address this while we on live and we got people listening, maybe Seti Nash listening. If you want to bump Seti Nash, nigga, all you got to do is stop being a bitch and unblock me on Instagram and hit my inbox, nigga. If you want to bump, nigga, you want to fight, as y'all say in California. We say bump. If you want to bump, nigga, you know how to get in contact with me. I'll beat your fat ass right now, nigga. Anytime you was talking all that shit. If you want to fight, I repeat, unblock me on Instagram because you a bitch and motherfucking inbox me and we'll set up a fight. Now nah, I beat the fuck out your fat ass, nigga. You dirty ass, fat ass, lenny head ass, nigga. And that shit be so gay too when niggas get mad at each other on the internet. They're like, I'm finna block him. Nigga, yo. That, that shit women do. You block bitches. Yeah, that's what oh, I'm finna you know say. What I'm bitches like, blocking them motherfuckers. Right, that's what women do. Niggas, you got, <laughs> real, you got niggas so-called say they real niggas. They get mad at you and then they go on there and they take the time out to hit the block button. I'm for the block him. Man, no, I ain't heard. I blocked that goof ass nigga. Damn, you blocked him. Damn. Thought you was a real one. Like, you, you, you blocking niggas, man? I swear to God, if I just be sitting back thinking about so much shit like this shit that's so fabricated, for and watered down, this shit don't make no sense, mm. folks. This shit fucked up. The shit niggas do for the internet, folks. But look, I wasn't even looking, though. Let me tell you how I stumbled across some talking shit and shit. I sent Lovely Leo has subscribed to my channel. So I say, let me go to her channel and say, hey, or thank you for subscribe, subscribing or whatever. So I say, hey, hey, lovely Leo, how you doing? She was like, hey, ghetto, what's up? Woo, woo. She say, man, I just was talking about you on my last video, the one I made yesterday. I say, the one you made yesterday, I go listen to her video. She back breaking down the situation and she trying to figure out where the parts where our parts of the situation because she just hearing they side of the story for weeks and weeks and ain't seen us so she was like she 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 just told me about it but i heard her story i'm like they's been talking about us and got our fans thinking that we ain't saying nothing and thinking they don't know what's going on my page been took so you i couldn't respond and Y'all, it took me, it took a minute back for Ghetto DVD to pop back up probably for you to see me, lovely Leo, on the thing. So, that's what, that was the little problem then. A Choices got alerted today, so that's why you see him, so we could speak our piece and speak what we got going on. You know what I'm saying? Speak our side, because it is two sides to every story. Yeah, because I didn't even know what the fuck was going on. I, ain't, I had no clue that... 
this shit was sparked back up for real. Cause like I like man, you trenches just called me like two weeks ago. Like, man, what's up, bro? Get that shit straight, man. I, I got you. And like, he was just talking to me with like so much common sense and peace. But now he on the internet trying to torment a motherfucker. That's why I'm like, what the fuck? Like, like, what's like, what's really to you? You know what I'm saying? I'm just all back door vibes. You think I'm gonna let this man call me and say, "Yeah, we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna do Glock the mic," and I'm gonna actually pop out and set up and do Glock the mic with you, knowing that you a snake ass nigga? For I would never let this nigga wheel me in, on bro. I'm gonna y'all let you finish wheeling the internet in and your little YouTube channel that you got. Keep wheeling them people in. Selling yeah. a dream. He was trying to sell you another dream. Yeah, folks. You ain't finna wheel me in. You go you can you you can continue to wheel C Hood in. You ain't finna get I mean, he got C Hood nose wide open. Cause C Hood out there in Atlanta. Man, he, he got, got his that, nose man. wide open. Yeah, he got that man, folks. I ain't gonna lie to you. <laughs> and I hate to like no cap, I really hate to even speak on shit with C Hood for real, folks. We ain't never we ain't really had no real verbal like disagreements or none of that type of shit for real probably just one time but i just like with me like i just call shit how i see it for i ain't finna fabricate shit I, you I'm ain't hot shit. in the house with that big fancy coat on you ain't hot <laughs> hell no <nah. laughs> i'm gonna be hey look low key though I'm just in here talking my shit. I'm finna be sliding, bro. I'm right here at my people crib. Once I get off this bitch, bro, I'm finna be getting the fucking right here. Hey, but guess what, man? This some good watch time. What, you in that cook or something? Hell no. That's some what good you in that watch time. Yeah, I'm smoking a little. I'm smoking a little. I don't smoke blunts no more. I smoke raw papers. Because oh, no. my throat, and I need to talk. And I can sound much better since I stopped smoking blunts. Yeah, yeah, but shit, hell yeah, for we gonna you got anything else you want to address for? Cause motherfuckers gonna pop up off this bitch. I, 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 I got one more people. thing I want to address. I'm gonna say this: if see if Setty Nash want to bump, set that shit up, bitch. Hit me on uh Instagram, and nigga, and we ain't letting up off of y'all last, cause y'all been talking about us for weeks. Motherfuckers ain't been saying shit. Our fans don't know. You know, got my channel all took down and shit. Now we back on your ass and this shit back wide open, nigga. We can algorithm, nigga. And I got so, one thing. I, and I got one thing I want to say. Trenches news. Well, not trenches news. Martell. Martell. If you got any static with me, gang, we can link, box this shit out, folks. I don't want to see no harm happen to you. I don't want to see you dead. Like how you want to see me dead and report me. I don't want to see that with you, folks. We could box this shit out, folks, and shake hands in the end like real man, gang. If it's any static, folks. And see, Hood, if you want to bump, too, because you be threatening niggas and shit, too. If you want to fight, bring your ass from down there in Atlanta. Well, I'll go down there in Atlanta and whoop your ass. I'll bring a few of my guys with me, and we'll come down there. I'll beat your ass. I don't need no help or nothing. One on one, me, me against C Hood, me against Seti Nash. Whoever want to bump, if AK want to bump, we could bump. Any motherfucker want to bump, set that shit up, nigga. And trenches, since you getting a little money for, I got, I got, I got whatever on this fight with me and you, nigga. We could, we could, we. I box your bitch ass just for five hundred dollars or something. You know what I'm saying? Couple rounds, let's go. Head, let's go toe to toe. I don't need no money. Then we gonna go live. I'll fight for a little money. Yeah, yeah. Let's that's, that's come on. You motherfuckers like to entertain. Come on, let's entertain. On bro, now put your little bread up, folk. I I I go toe to toe with you for whatever amount of money, folk. And we can. You link. say they they want views and they want likes and all that shit, nigga. Do something for real. Get in there and bump, Sadie Nash. You talking all that? You got two six point stars on your chest, bitch ass nigga. Come bump. Come bump. Yeah, them niggas ain't on the crime though, folks. But yeah, motherfucker, going, we gonna pop up off this motherfucker though, folks. Shit, we we, we out of here, man. I'm good. We, man. We, gonna, I'm we gonna come back up on this motherfucker tomorrow, man. You know what I'm saying? If we right, say I'm something, love, man. I, I'm love. I'm love. If they say something on phone, then we back on this bitch tomorrow. Salute to everybody who watched, left a comment. Shout out, lovely Leo. Shout out, Titch. 
uh, shout out uh, uh, Ghetto DVD. Shout out motherfucking um, Let's Get After. Backup channel. Yeah. Back up. <laughs> shout out the UK. Let's get it, man. Y'all enjoy the rest of y'all night. We out this motherfucker. Love. Love.